Hey folks, Niall here. <coughs> I've just run to the top of uh, the lighthouse here at Byron Bay. Bit of seriously, bit of a trek, but crazy view. And um, today's video, I want to talk a bit about purpose because the last few weeks I've been started reading Jack Delos's book, Unwritten, which I finished on the plane on the way up here. And I've just been looking for what that 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 thing is that I'm driving for in the long run. My vision, that Jack calls it, and. Um, so I was speaking to, I had a bit of a, an impromptu session with Benetta Wayman and uh, my mate TJ on Thursday night before coming up here. And over the last few days, I've sort of realised I've become a bit of a hippie these last six weeks. And um, over the last few days, I've realised I've probably gone a bit too far to the hippie side and I'm missing, craving that adrenaline again of bull riding, kickboxing, because I need a bit of that in my life. And it sort of dawned on me a bit that I've got a bit of a, I guess I'm a bit of a, a gift to bridge worlds, because not many... Not many bull riders become hippies or vice versa. And on the run up here, it's the whole thing about facing fear has been fascinating to me because like when I when I first got into boxing I realised that, you know, if we get to a fight day and you're not fit enough, you look back and the only person to blame is you, because you didn't put in the effort on those last sprints and on that sprint up the last sprint up to the lighthouse here I started to feel that, but I keep in mind I'm gonna keep running from those days of boxing where if I look back from a fight and I hadn't given everything, I was the one to blame, so I couldn't blame it on anyone else when I lost the fight. And then when I got into bull riding, even though I was so scared of getting on that first bull, there's so much resistance to get on there, and that first bull I fell straight off, but as soon as I fell off, there's just a massive wave of euphoria, and for probably about 24 hours, I was just on a natural high. And in many ways, it's very similar, that pushing yourself physically fit for fitness and then pushing yourself through that fear barrier to get you know to the other side because the other side of fear is always this amazing growth and learning and, and an amazing feeling of success when you get there. And the next point in my life I went to a men's retreat out of Melbourne and that started to teach me that um, there's a lot more to fear than physical fear. I thought I was pretty tough getting in a ring or getting on a ball and then I realized that the scariest thing for men is like having to own up to their emotional stuff whether it's you know you know, getting rid of secrets you never told anyone, and that's very, you know, a lot of, just a men's retreat where men are saying things they've never told anyone before, and it's, it's um, very scary, but also it's amazingly empowering when you feel that authentic. And so I've sort of found close to my purpose now, which is just facing those, that resistance in life, because when you've got the tools to face it, and you can step through it with courage, all of a sudden, on the other side of fear or uh, working out or whatever it is, there's just amazing growth on the other side, and you feel incredible, and that's really what these retreats are for me. The retreats we're running with Andy, it's, we like pushing people physically and mentally and emotionally, whether it's through the physical fears or through fitness stuff or through the emotional stuff, their, their, their challenges in life. Because once you've got the skills to work through those fears, the resistance in your world and the stress just drops so far down and all of a sudden, it's just a weight lift off your shoulders when you've got those skills. So that's what our retreats are all about. They're, they're getting outside your comfort zone because it's only outside your comfort zone that you can grow as a person. It's only when you've got that resistance that you've got to push through that you can really grow as a, as a man especially, I believe, just to get through that scary stuff because once you realise you've got the toughness inside you to get through that, your whole world starts to open up in other areas. So, so yeah, I think I'm starting to find my purpose and I guess uh, I'm, this is a promotion for Jackie's book. It really made my start to get my, my mind thinking. The book is called Unwritten. I'd uh, highly recommend you have a read of it. And to anyone who's interested in coming on our next retreat, it's on May the 20th. We're taking 13 men on a bus down to Lawn out of Melbourne. We're getting into nature and we're going to challenge men to get outside the comfort zone. We go through a sweat lodge. We're going to get up early in the morning and go jump in the ocean when it's cold. But all the way through, we're teaching you the mindset skills. Myself and Andy Traff, both peak performance coaches, on how to change your mindset so all of a sudden that, that bit of resistance looks like a stepping stone because on the other side of it is amazing growth and fun. We're going to help you to craft your vision so that you can, you're excited about where you're heading in life. So if that sounds interesting to you, then get in contact with me or Andy Traff via Facebook. Or give me a call. I've got the uh, website link there. Love to have you there. Early bird tickets run out on May 1st, which I think is tomorrow. Have fun, dudes. Have a wicked weekend. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.